The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, basketballnews.com, Big Beach, and Instat, Precision Wins. The Tampa Bay Pro Combine, presented by Florida Sports Coast, has reached its final game, and it's a battle of undefeated. As the black comes in at 3-0, takes on the blue, 3-0. Joel Hilsman, glad that you are with us inside the Avent Health Sports Arena. As we conclude the Tampa Bay Pro Combine with this pair of undefeated teams, James Posey, the head coach of that black squad, and Doc Martin, the head coach, of the blue squad and they will match wits here in the final game of the combine should be a fun one with these two undefeated teams of course on the blue side joel nawabi is leading the way along with quad a green richard washington each having very very good showings here at the pro combine the tampa bay pro combine on the flip side for the black good showings from terry taylor love him sterling manley who's played very well. Javon Blair, who's played very well. Manley will get the start along with Terry, Obadiah Noel, Ethan Esposito, and number three, Javon Blair. Those will be the starters in black for the black team. For the blue team, it was a brilliant one, and Javon Graves is out there along with Joel Nuabi. Is that French that I see, number 47, getting a start? I know Richard Washington, 49, is getting a start, and 41 is quad a green the final game is getting ready to start and somebody will leave undefeated and somebody will leave with a three and one mark 10 minutes are on the clock and we get ready and that is french we're underway tip comes back to ethan esposito and he gives it over to blair and blair will walk it up into the front court and now he gets it back to the basket is manly now gives it off to esposito Esposito looking out of that high-low position, and here's Blair. Blair out of Georgetown on the point guard spot. Blair across the lane, puts it up with the left hand and scores. He cracks the seal on this final game. Javon Blair, his first two. Two-nothing ball game. Here's Quade Green out of Washington, led the Huskies in scoring last season at 15.4 a game. Washington gives it over to French. French pass is deflected. It's recovered by Quade Green. Seven on the 24. Screen given by Nuabe. Goes around it with two seconds. With one, the shot's got to go up. It does. To beat the horn, it's no good. Rebound comes off to Sterling Manley. He secured it and gave it to Blair. Blair shuttles it up ahead to Terry Taylor. Taylor from Austin P. Pulls a three. It's off. No good. Rebound comes to French. French out of St. Louis. Bounces it up to Quade Green. Quade driving the lane. Fakes it. Now gives it off to Graves, and Graves lost it. Up ahead, here comes Obadiah Noel. Noel stops and turns, nothing there, retreats back to the corner. Now he feeds it in. Manley turning off the window, no, and French gets the board. French is a board man on the drive and dunk. He knew as soon as he was able to turn the corner, Hassan French with the dunk, 2-2 ball game. So here comes Blair. Blair will set up the offense now. A minute and a half gone by in this first half, first quarter. Manley on the catch, him and Esposito play pitch and catch. Esposito, short baseline jump, no good. French, another board. French in the open floor again, showing his agility and versatility. Here's Javon Graves out of Buffalo. Whips a pass across court to Nawabi. A three on the way, it's good. Joel Nawabi, a three ball. Good find on a cross court pass from Graves. Here is Blair. Blair comes across, goes around the screen. Blair picked it up and gives it to Esposito. Esposito hands it off, and now here's Taylor. Terry Taylor, stop, jumper, back iron, no board by Washington. Washington led San Jose State in scoring this past collegiate season. On the drive, took the contact, goes up with the left hand, missed it all the way. Manley got the rebound, another board for him. He gives it over there. Here comes Javon Blair. Blair angles over, now comes around the screen, goes below the foul line, right of the lane, up with the right hand, it rolled off. Manley tipped, fought for the rebound, and it comes off now to French. Long lead pass to Washington. Washington turning on Esposito, used the left hand and scores. Richard Washington. Washington in his previous three games 
11.6 points per game here at the Tampa Bay Pro Combine. Here's a drive with the left hand, Obadiah Noel. Now, Noel has played very, very well as he gets the lay there, and it's a 7-4 ball game. Just over three minutes gone by, especially yesterday in the second game, late. Clutch down the stretch the last four minutes, made key play after key play for the point guard spot. French's three is no good, and here comes Terry Taylor. Taylor getting going down here with the left hand, up and driving a score. Terry Taylor, his first field goal. So a quick little 4-0 spurt cuts it to 1-7 to 6, and now French catches the pass before he gets to the baseline. Nawabi brought his man to him. French does not have a dribble. Here's Green. Green dribble now gave it right back to French on the roll action. He dunked it. So French is looking springy in the final game. Hassan French with the jam. Jumper, good from Noel. Obadiah Noel now with four points. 9-8 ball game, three minutes gone. Nuwabi goes in and it's foul. He tried to go and in, he got an offensive foul call. Joel Nuwabi and he did not agree with it. It's an offensive foul called on Joel Nuwabi. And Doc Martin wants a form of an explanation as well, but Comes back and calls out the defensive set. Coach Posey for the black, claps his hands together. And Obadiah Noel will come up the floor. On the ball, crossing the timeline. Back to the basket. Sterling Manley across the rim, up and in. Across the lane, moving right to left. Sterling Manley out of Pinkerton, Ohio originally. Well, at North Carolina this past collegiate season. Turn French using the body. Oh, he's coming to play Hassan French with six points. And all six of them are big boy strong moves from Hassan French. 11 to 10. Halfway gone. First quarter. Noel going to go baseline by Grays and dunk. Obadiah Noel showing the bunnies on the baseline jam. 12 to 11. Here's Washington. Washington. Took the bump and a foul, and this will be on Esposito. Obadiah Noel out of UMass Lowell goes right by the Buffalo player in Graves and dunked it with two hands. French and Noel showing off the bunnies on the final day. Going to the bench now, and here comes Clay Mounts into the contest, number nine out of Furman. And also in will be number two, Nate Rivers. Out of Wisconsin. French takes a seat. Shamanga has checked in. He gets the catch and immediately puts it up. No, follow, tip, no, yes, inside Graves. Javon Graves with the tip on the offensive rebound and second chance opportunity. 13 to 12, blue. Both teams undefeated. Back out, top side, Rivers, three ball, no. Rebound comes off to Nawadi. Joel will come into the full court and pull a three. Right wing, snap the nets. A three from the Wabi. He has six. One from the corner and one from the wing. 16 to 12. Here's Noel. Noel looks at it. Now here's Esposito. And he passes it to Mounts. And Mounts was cutting. A little miscommunication. Now we saw a lot of that in the first quarter in games yesterday. Have not seen much of that today as the players have kind of gotten somewhat comfortable or as comfortable as you can with your teammates. Floater from Graves is no good. Rebound is ripped off by Esposito. Esposito now will push it in transition. Goes up. Esposito got it rolled. So Ethan Esposito, his first field goal in the in action here as we come up on 245 to go first quarter. The float is off the mark. No good by Malibach and put back in by Washington. Richard Washington has four. And a blocking foul is called. Washington laying in the paint. Didn't agree with it. And Quade Green checks in. Javon Graves goes out. Javon Graves and Joel Nuwabi combined for 20 two points in the fourth quarter in their win earlier over Red 
78-77. That was earlier today. Three, good from Mounts. Mounts with the three ball. Floater, good. Quite a green breaks out the flotation device and he gets his first field goal. Backing in, Blair tried to go to Esposito. It's going to go into the backcourt. An over and back violation. Take a look at that SUV TV instant replay. Quad A Green with the jump. A minute 25 to go in his first quarter, 18 to 17. Jumper no good, hit the floor. Now here comes Noel. Noel back out at the top. Jab stepping, not there. Now we're going to pull the three anyway and knock it in. Good. Nate Rivers with the three, his first made field goal. We're even ball game, 20 all in the final half minute of this first quarter. In, the, in action in this first quarter, Quade Green probing and turning in the lane, breaking out the curly Neal moves. A lot of dribbling. Now here's Washington, short corner, jump good. Quade Green with the assist. He dribbled a lot and created, but the Washington got the jump, and he has six. Shot clock is off. Final possession possibly here for the Black. Now he can take the last shot. Blair has it. He'll be worked on defensively by Nawabi with four seconds, with three, with two. He whips the pass over to Noel for three. No, and that is the end of the first quarter. The Blue has a 22-20 lead over the Black. The winner goes undefeated from the Tampa Bay Pro Combine, presented by Florida Sports Coast. Timeout. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, BasketballNews.com, Big Beach, and Instat, Precision Wings. We begin the second quarter here between the blue and the black. As Jordy Taminga has it working on Rivers. He turns with a jump hook. Good. Turns to that baseline and got the jump hook. Jordy Taminga, his first field goal. And that pushes their lead out to four. Both teams coming in at 3-0. Joe Hilton, glad that you are with us. Wherever you are, Clay Mounts pulls a deep three from distance, and that's where he is at the bottom of the net. A three ball for Clay Mounts. He has six in the contest. Mounts coming in, averaging 12 points per game through his previous three games here at the Tampa Bay Pro Combine. Jump hook again, all going to work, Shaminga. Back-to-back field goals, one with the right hand, one with the left hand. Went over one shoulder, went over the other shoulder. Here's Obadiah Noel, has it with a minute gone by, worked on by Quade Green. Noel took the bump and was fouled.
Terry Taylor, who is on the bench right now, for Black is averaging 17 per game and stepped out of bounds was Clay Mounts. Mounts out of Furman University, the Palavins up in Greenville, South Carolina. Averaged 12 points per game. Led the team in rebounds at just over six a game. Green whips it to the corner, and he stepped out of bounds. We've seen that a number of times. And you have the 23-9 line in that corner. There's not as much room to make that move as you think it is, especially when you're not used to playing with the 23-9 line. In the corners is where you can find out when you hear that above the break three. Rebound underneath by Noel. Noel goes up, lost it. Rebound ripped off Shaminga. He gives it to Quade Green. Green is in the middle running the break. Green, oh, he stopped going. Maluk stopped going. He stopped running on the break. Green was trying to feed him and set him up nice. And he quit running and it turned into a turnover. Here is Blair. Blair gets the screen. Now angles to the baseline. Nothing is there, so he pulls a three. It's no good. Rebound by Green out of the guard spot. He has rebounded exceptionally well over the course of the last two days and three games for the blue. Quade count it and the foul. He took the hit, finished with the left, and will go to the free throw line to try and complete the three-point play. Quade Green. Misdirection, saw the opening, drove, and Noel with the whack on the left arm. Green showing you he's valuable. He can help a franchise. He's shown you that. Free throw, no good. He has not missed a lot of free throws over the course of the last two days and three games. 28 to 23, 751, and a moving clock here in this second quarter. Mounts is in the corner to Blair. Blair is open. Now Blair's going to have to step back. Shamanga contested it, no good. Rebound by Graves. Graves. Tried to hit it up to reward Shamanga for running the floor, but it was tipped away by Mounts, and here's Blair. Blair, jump pass in the corner. Noel going baseline, up on Graves, counted, and the foul. Nice move from Obadiah Noel. He has eight in the contest, and will go to the free throw line for the very first time today. 28 to 25 as he goes baseline, and he and Graves have got into it, took the contact and the body, and still played through it, got the call, and finished. Esposito goes out, so Terry and Manley come back in for Coach James Posey's black squad. Free throw from Obadiah Noel is good. So he completes the three-point play. He has nine points right now, and he leads all black scorers so far. Washington looked up at Coach Doc Martin and got the instruction. He's going to initiate the offense between the rings, worked on by Rivers. He steps back. It's a long two. A long two is good from Richard Washington. He has eight. Three ball from Noel. No tip by Manley. No tip by Manley. No one was fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. 6.56 to go. 30 to 26. The blue is undefeated. The black is undefeated, and we are glad that you are with us wherever you are. The Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Florida Sports Course. Joe Hilsman, glad that I have been here with you for all 10 games here. In the game portion on Friday and Saturday, good look at Sterling Manuel. Manley, free throw is no good from Sterling Manley. Manley coming in, let's see. Had him some big efforts, had a big 24-point effort yesterday. He split the free throws there, coming in averaging right at 16 points per game. 30 to 27, drop off, French goes up, block, and a foul. I thought that was all Wilson, Mr. Ref. Sterling Manuel thought he had the block on French. French being very aggressive, and he's back into the contest. Had a wonderful start. Did Hassan French yesterday in two games, averaged nine rebounds per game. He had 18 total, and now he banks in a free throw, and it's good. French, though, has... has Proven to be very, very valuable. 
and using that body very well. Split that free throw, though, as Manley got the rebound. French listed at 6'7", 240. Hometown is Middletown, New York, but played his college ball at St. Louis. Quade Green got in and deflected it, and it went off a of clay mounts of black and a turnover. You take a look there at Quade Green, number 41. And you see me there on the baseline as he's walking right toward my broadcast position. Here's Washington. Washington working one way and the other. Now he goes and gives it off. Here's French coming down the lane. French with a little right hand top hook. Good. French breaking it all out in this final game. Hassan French now has nine. 33-27. Six minutes to go, and Noel drives. Obadiah Noel with the drive and score right back at you. He has 11. Four-point ball game. I expect this one to come all the way down to the absolute wire. Graves gets below the foul line. It's no good, and he was foul. Javon Graves out of Buffalo. 6'3", 200. Has some supporters with him. Here's another look at Obadiah Noel on the hesitating and goes and finishes on the left side. Graves, free throw, no good. I mentioned the big fourth quarter that Graves had. He had 14 points in their victory over Red. 12 of them came in that fourth quarter, but did not go to the free throw line, and he misses both of these here. 33, 29, 5, 37 and a moving clock. Here's Terry Taylor. Taylor around the screen. Now step back, mounts three, no. Rebound comes off. Good board work right, by Joel Nawabi. Nawabi now bounces it over to Quade Green. Green is going downhill, took the contact, goes up, no whistle. Rebound by Mounts. Mounts has got his head up. Who's running with him? Mounts is going. He's got Terry in the corner. Quade is back on defense. After he got up, so Mounts starts in the left corner, now goes back to the right. Manley catches one dribble, turn, layup good. Over the lip of the rim. That was easy work there from Sterling Manley. Manley with five. Halfway gone, second quarter as the clock ticks under five minutes. It's a two-point ball game, 33-31. Kaminga now out to Quade Green. Green pointing and gets the screen set. On the roll action, back out. Nuabe, jump pass in the corner. French, good ball movement. Green, three, no, out of bounds. And he had to shoot it to beat the shot clock. And it's a turnover. Well, caught Green sleeping, and there's a goal 10. Give those two to Obadiah Noel. So Noel really, really playing downhill in this game right now, and he's just continued to grow on me. Let me see. Obadiah had, uh, let's see, 14, 19, 21 in their victory over Green today in double overtime. No good. French, Noel gets the rebound and get it up ahead. Mounts, Clay turns, scores. Clay mounts, has eight. Washington stepped out of bounds again. Under four minutes, even ball game at 33. Noel had 18 points in two games yesterday, but then had 21 in their game today. Manley fires and hits. 35 to 33. There's an air ball.
3.30 to go. Blair will come across the timeline. Tried to get it to Manley. He had to go save it. Rebound off the Mounts. Mounts back to Manley. Manley had his jersey pulled. Jumper is no good. French gets the board, and now it's a freight train in the open floor. Bounced up ahead to Graves. Graves layup good. Man, if French is running the break like that, Graves ran the wing with him. Three minutes to go. Coach Posey upset at that last possession. Blair gives it now to Manley. Manley has it. Gives it off. Now and here's Esposito. Esposito has it on the curl, and Blair came and got it. Blair drives, knocked away in a steal by Joel Nawabi. Nawabi's running. He's looking up to see who he's got with him. Picked up by Graves, whipped over to Green. Quad A drives, attack, lay, good. Quad A Green, and the foul. Quad A Green and one. And now we'll have a timeout with 2.39 to go. So now it's 2.39 to go as we come out of the timeout. Glad that you're with us as you take a look at our sponsors. Instat, Big Beach Productions, BAM Testing, BasketballNews.com, and Advent Health Sports Arena. 2.39 to go here in this second quarter. Quade Green, no. So Green, 0 of 3 from, excuse me, 0 of 1 from the free throw line. He's been unable to make both of his and one opportunities. Manley turns up, no, board underneath by Terry. Terry turns, fades with the left hand and trips the net. Terry Taylor playing well. He has four points in the contest. Seven thirty-seven. Here comes Washington. Washington, a three. It's off the mark. No, he got the roll. He's living right. Richard Washington with the three. He has eleven in the contest, and it's a forty to thirty-nine lead. Forty to thirty-seven lead. Four forty-eight, and now they're gonna come push it right down the middle of the pike. Malik up and scores. Nice move. His first field goal. Beeline right to the basket, 42-37. 1.35 to go. Goes around the screen, and now he pops it back over to the right to Blair. 85 seconds, first half, 7 on the 24. Blair goes baseline, jump pass back out. Set, Taylor, 3, no, tip. Rebound comes off high, comes off to Esposito. Esposito scores. Esposito with his second made field goal. And it's 42-41, 42-39. Bounce on the screen roll. French kick out. Good ball movement. Washington a three. No. Good ball movement, though. The extra pass. You always love it when you can see the extra pass. Taylor leans in. Here's Blair. A three. It's off. Board is swallowed up. Good board by Mayu. Mayak has played very well, although quietly he's played very well and very effectively. Here's Quad A Green. He'll peel it back now. 36 seconds. They could go for a two for one if they try. Green on the attack. Goes for the two for one. Count it and the foul. Quad A Green. Oh, man. Quad A Green had it right there. 44 to 41. 44 to 39. 31 in 210 seconds. And they've got the opportunity for that two for one deal. 
And now, Quade now, this is his third and one opportunity. He missed the free throw the previous two times. Quade Green, 15.4 points per game last season collegiately for the Washington Huskies. Led that team in scoring. Green free throw is good. So he gets that three-point play opportunity. Expands their lead now at a half minute to go. 45-39, six-point advantage right now. Whips it to the corner. Mounts three on the way. It's off the mark. Manley got the rebound. Manley turns, goes up, and scores. Sterling Manley having a big, big quarter. He has seven in the quarter, nine in the game. Green in the paint. Tried to bounce it in, and we have reached the half. A very good half it was. It has the blue with a 45-41 lead at the half. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, BasketballNews.com, Big Beach, and Instat Precision Wings. Tamara Brown with SUV TV at the CP3 Rising Stars Camp. SUV TV's 2019 NBA Draft Day coverage. Anthony Edwards' collegiate decision presented by the Georgia Hoop Circle on SUV TV. SUV TV brings the game to the audience. You give a better focus on the actual game at hand. Sometimes you could tell it's just a running camera by itself sitting there. But with SUV TV, it's more of a personal experience. Just the exposure, being able to see games that you normally wouldn't be able to see, not only here locally, but across the country. Those angles make you pick up different things as a coach, as an evaluator. They're giving you great quality. Nobody talking in the background. I think it, it, it brings basketball to the forefront. Whether it's a family member that lives in a different state, they can, they can watch the game, or just bringing in more coverage for these players, or if it's just allows us to raise more money for something like Susan G. Komen. And so I think this event has grown because you guys have been a part of it the whole entire time. SUV TV has given a different light to kids that don't always get the best exposure. The commentary that goes along with the games, I think is always interesting. <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, yes, sir. It brings something to the table that no other streaming aspect can bring, uh, no matter how hard they try right now. Time. Davian Williamson at the buzzer. That is how high. you get the Peachtree Corners Invitational started. And that will do it. Thanks for joining.
We welcome you back inside the Advent Health Sports Arena as we get ready for the second half of our final game of the Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Sports Coast, Florida Sports Coast. Joe Hillsman, glad that you're with us. You have been watching the Tampa Bay Pro Combine exclusively on SUV TV, and I'm glad to have been here with you. We're in game number 10. It is undefeated black and undefeated blue. Black in possession. They move left to right as you view it. And Blair has it, bounces it in to Terry. Terry turning and fading with the left hand. It's good. Terry Taylor, he has six points in the contest. 45-43. Here comes Quade Green. Terry in that first half had four points. The high man was Sterling Manley. He had 11. Back with the field goal, 47 to 43. And now here's Terry, sized up with Washington. Use the body, goes up, count it, and the foul. Terry Taylor and one. Now he got hit with an offensive foul like that, I believe it was yesterday, or it could have been earlier today, because he extended the arm. This time he didn't extend it, and that just was a weight room move. It happened right here in front of our broadcast position, and you could hear the. <clears throat> when he made the move. Now he's got to go and try and complete the three-point play. Taylor cannot. Averaging 17 points through the first three games here from the Tampa Bay Pro Combine. Graves lost it in a turnover, and Terry picks it up. Terry Taylor running in transition. Taylor all the way, left-hand lay good. He's going to get it going already. He's got six quick points in his half. Even ball game at 47. 47-47. A minute and a half gone by in this third quarter. Here's Nuwabi, whips the pass over now to Quade Green. Green of Nuwabi, he's in the middle. Puts it on the floor. Now Washington pulls a three. Good. Washington, Richard Washington, a three. 50 to 47. 815 and a moving clock. Here's Blair. Blair gives it to Obadiah Noel. Noel played very well in that first half. He had 13 points. I mentioned Manley, but it was Noel with 13. Blair's three, caroms off. Another rebounding guard for Quade Brown. Green, excuse me. And there's a three out of the corner. Good. Graves with the three. And now we've got a whistle and a timeout. 53 to 49. And that three was stripped those nets right there. 7.55 to go third quarter. Quade Green got the rebound and now gets the assist. Quade Green has played very, very well. A point guard out of Washington. That was Graves out of Buffalo with that three ball. Graves, who just hit that three coming in, averaging nine points through his three previous games, had 12 in the fourth quarter, 12 of his 14 in their victory earlier today over Red, and they had to have it, 78 to 77. Graves out of Buffalo. Coming out now, out of the timeout. Operating it with Blair. Blair trying to feed it in to Terry. Terry Taylor has quad A on him. Right there. So he's just going to step and fade and bottom it out. Got it going. He's got eight in the quarter. Twelve in the game. Terry Taylor. Here's Washington. Washington goes baseline. And it's rejected by Terry Taylor. Here comes Esposito. Esposito on the break. Flips it over now to Noel. He goes baseline. Dropped it off to Manley. All sharing and caring. Seeking and finding. Swing on the rim, big fella. He has 13. 53 all now. Open. Nuwabi online. It's short. Rebound comes off to Taylor. Here is Taylor. Taylor step back. Three. No. Rebound. Good box by French. French got the rebound, and now he'll come up the floor. 
and show off his versatility. Will he go right at Manley? He will, and drive right hand, and is fouled. French, man, he came out with so much energy and effort in that first half. He had six quick, emphatic points. Two big dunks and then a big boy move. And he's going to go to the free throw line now. He's one of two on the line. Today he has nine points in the contest. And the lefty sticks it up. French back iron, no good. So he's missed two straight free throws in a, way, in a row. French, as I mentioned, from St. Louis. He misses the second free throw. Average nine points, seven and a half boards, two and a half assists this past collegiate season. Drive in, take the contact, and Terry is fouled. Terry Taylor. Free throw from Taylor is good. 54-53, they've got him a one-point lead. Taylor averaged 21.6 points and 11.1 .1 rebounds. He led the team in scoring and rebounding for Austin P. He makes the second free throw. He has turned it on. Two-point lead, 55-53. Quad A green around the screen. Quad A floats it up. It's no good. The rebound hit the floor, and now they'll come back on the push. Taylor stopped by Graves, who now gives it to Noel. Noel swings it to the corner. A three by Blair. It is off the mark. Rebound inside on a dunk. Put back home. Good board. Offensive rebound. Second chance opportunity for Nate Rivers. He has five. Come right back with the hoop and score. On that end, it's 55 the 57, 57, 55, excuse me. Two point advantage. Terry fading, no. He's almost got that shot mastered. Shamanga trying to get the save. Terry will take a seat now. Terry today from the free throw line, two or three today, but on the season at Austin P, he shot almost a shade under 80%. You absolutely have to love that. Drive, stop, jump, good. Ethan Esposito. Esposito has six. 59 55. Green worked on by Noel. Esposito picks up Nawabe and he is fouled. And will they give it to him on the shot? Let's see. Nope, it'll be on the floor. Baseline out of bounds. Inbound to Nawabe. In the corner, his three is good. Fading away, Joel Nawabe. He has nine points, all of them from beyond the arc. 59-58, one-point ball game. Black with the ball and the lead. Here is Blair on that left wing, worked on by Graves. Drives. Green got in. He's the one that caused that turnover. Got the steal in the corner, picked up by Maluk, but... Quade Green got his hand all over the ball to pop it free. Reversed by Graves. It's sent back to him by Rivers. He fights through it again. It's no good. Rebound comes out to Green. Green whips it back to Shamanga. Shamanga to a cutter. Graves who scored. Stick and stay with it. Hard hat lunch pail. That was Nawabe. Excuse me, not Graves. Nawabe in double figures. He has 11. And they take a one-point lead, 60-59, to 242. And a moving clock. On the drive, Nuabe stayed in front of him for the moment. Now, Shamanga came out, showed the help, and now the foul is going to be called on Shamanga. I thought he was doing a pretty good job. There was a little bumping there. 
Here's Shamunga down low. And then there's the pass in the Nawabe. Took a spill, but got those two points. 2.15 remaining in the third quarter. Rivers on the back door. The mount. Here comes now. He stepped out of bounds. Seen that a number of times. You got to understand when you're playing with the 23 9 line, that corner gets small above the break and below the break. When you're below the break, not as much room as you think it is. We've seen it a number of times. Stepping out of bounds, but still, at the end of the day, it's about floor awareness. Where are you on the court? 60 to 59. With 137 to go, and now Terry Taylor comes to the scores table. He'll check in. Esposito out of Sacramento State by way of Naples, Italy, will take a seat. The young volunteers who have been a part of the towel crew have done an absolutely fantastic job the entire two days during the game action. Three-day event. Cap it with the games. On these two days, pump fake, goes baseline, now whips it to the corner to Quade Green. Green going to come across the lane, took the contact. It was rejected, but a foul was called. And Coach Posey just doesn't like it. He turns and walks back down this side of the bench, looked up at the scoreboard and sees it's a 60-59 to 59 ball game. And now Quade Green will be going to the free throw line with 1.14 Terry and Shamanga come messing with him and pick him up. 107 to go. Get the floor cleaned up. That's quite a green. Now look like he's holding his pinky on his left hand. Green goes through his free throw routine. It's good. He has one more coming. <coughs> Green now is two of four from the free throw line. His three previous free throw attempts were all and ones. Free throw good. 62 to 59. 50 seconds, and now Coach Posey calls out the set, and they'll set it up, and that's that horn action. Going to drive Shamango, was there defensively, kicked back out to the top, Terry a three, and it's off the mark. While they green tried to chase it down, jump pass by Blair, he got the rebound. 36 seconds, they got 10 on the 24. Here's Noel, Noel to make his move with five on the 24. Step back, jumper, good. Obadiah Noel. What a step back, Jay. He has 15. He could hold for the final shot now. Here's Quade Green holding the basketball. And now begins the direct traffic. Quade gets the screen, makes his move with four seconds. Quade, pull up jumper Green. It's off the mark. Rebound comes off. He'll get a long heave, maybe. No. Off the mark. We got a good one. We move to the fourth and final quarter. It's a 62-61 blue lead over the black. You're watching the Tampa Pro Combine, Tampa Bay Pro Combine, presented by Florida Sports Coast. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, basketballnews.com, Big Beach, and Instat. Precision wins.
It has been a relatively close ball game as we go to the fourth quarter between the two undefeated teams. 3-0 black and 3-0 blue. Line score for black, 20, 23, and 18. Line score for blue, 22, 23, and 17. Hence, 62-61. Joe Hilsman, glad that you're back here with us on our live exclusive coverage of the Tampa Bay Combine presented by Florida Sports Coast inside the Avent Health Sports Arena. In our SUV TV courtside seats, French brings it up for the blue. French, Shamanga, Graves, Washington, and Nawabe, the five that are on the floor and start this fourth quarter for the gray. Uh, excuse me, for the blue. Game number 10, eh? Okay. <laughs> Noel, Manley, Blair, Mounts, and Taylor. Offensive foul called on Manley. Manley palms to the sky. And Coach Posey doesn't agree with it either. Here is Graves. Jumper is no good. Rebound falls into the lap now of Blair. Blair, uh, there's a jumper off no good from Taylor. Taylor had a wowsing third quarter. He had 10 points. He has 14 in the game. Nawabe makes his move, dumps it off. Now to Shamanga, he couldn't catch it cleanly, and the foul will be called on Clay Mounts. And let's see, is Shamanga going to be all right? A little slow to get up. He hadn't got up yet. He still hasn't got up. Got Mounts for riding him out, and now I think Shamanga will be up and okay. Martin giving out the instructions for his blue team. Exactly a minute gone by in this fourth quarter. We have still not had a bucket. 62-61, blue with the lead. Baseline out of bounds, triggers it in now to French. French gives it off. Gray's going to go all in. Manley blocked it. And a jump ball is called. Wonderful defense and rim protection from Sterling Manley on the block. Not their flex action now. Here comes Manley on the catch. Manley now swings it back to Taylor. Taylor on that dribble handoff now for Blair. Blair coming to this corner. You got to get a shot up. They're going to get a shot clock violation. <laughs> Coach Posey said, I told y'all. Shot. <laughs> 62-61, ball almost knocked away. Nawabe going to go in with the right hand and score. Joel Nawabe puts it in. He has 13 now. Here comes Taylor. Terry into the paint, turned the other way on French and scored. Oh, man, put him in a spin cycle with a little dipsy do. 64-63. Now here comes Graves. Graves on the attack, whips it to the corner. Nawabi a three ball. It's off the mark, and the rebound comes off to Terry. Lead pass up ahead. Noel can jump now all the way in, and a late foul, but he got foul coming off on the break. Obadiah Noel. Oh, Noel will go to the free throw line. Obadiah Noel out of UMass Lowell. Led them in scoring last year at 21.4 points per game. Obadiah Noel, the free throw is good. He is two of two from the line here in this ball game. Noel, just a shade under five boards and right at 3.3 assist for the Riverhawks. Second free throw is good. 65-64. Seven thirty-six 
Moving clock, one point ball game. Here's Nawade. Nawade gonna go. Took the contact, stepped, flips the pass back out. Shamonga catch, it's off the mark. Rebound underneath and put back in. It fell in his lap and he put it back in to old Nawade. Noel goes through. Comes and now here's the catch to Manuel. Manuel, Manley turns and Shamanga sent it away, a block shot. Here comes French. French is in transition, bounces it up ahead, layup is good on the break to Graves. Graves was running the floor and he was able to finish the break. Graves out of Buffalo, I've mentioned. 14.2 points per game this past collegiate season. It's no good and the rebound is whooped up by French. Lead pass, Graves is gonna catch it and lay it up again. He's got back-to-back -back layups and a timeout call now. Move it out to 71 to 65 as they call that, excuse me, 70 to 65 as they call a timeout with 6.42 to go. That's not a replay. That's just Graves getting an easy bucket. And it started with French on the glass. And he's shown, despite his body and size, that he can play down low. But he also can has good vision and good agility. Timeout. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, BasketballNews.com, Big Beach, and Instat Precision Wings. Welcome you back inside the Evan Health Sports Arena. 70 to 65, 642 to go in our final game of the Tampa Bay Pro Combine. And it's a good one because both teams are three and oh. Obadiah Noel holds it. Looking, looking, now feeds it over. Here's Reuters. Rivers has it, banging with Shimonga. Goes to the lane, stop, puts it up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes off. Good board work by Terry. Terry now going to have it, turn his back to the basket on Washington, and the foul will be called on Washington. Washington looks and can't believe it. He thought that he got hooked. Washington, the leading scorer this past collegiate season at San Jose State. 70 to 65, foul on the floor. Looking, and then he gets it in. There's a jumper by Esposito. No good. Rebound comes off to Shemanga. He gives it over to Graves. Turn, jump hook, good. Shamanga. Jordy Shamanga now has six points. They push that lead quietly now out to seven. 72 65. Jumper, Noel, no good. Washington gets the rebound. It's a black and blue affair, a battle of undefeateds. The winner goes 4 0, the loser goes three and one. Turning on the baseline, Shamanga using the body, goes up, no, he's sitting there, Rivers is fighting with him and he gets the board, gives it off. Long lead pass up ahead, caught. Esposito turning, fading, no, board. Brought down by Shamanga, he gives it to Joel Nawabi. Joel Nawabi at Texas Tech this past year. Only played in three ball games. There's a drive, took the contact in those three games. Averaged right under five points and right above three rebounds per game in those three ball games. In Lubbock. Graves is at the free throw line, and it is good. Graves having what now is turning out to be a pretty, pretty big day. He has 
last 12 points in this ball game. He had 14 in their previous game today. He has 13 now after that made field goal. 27 points over his last two games. And we still got five minutes to go. Halfway home in this fourth quarter. 74-65. Joel Hillsman, glad that you are with us. The SUV TV. Dot com. Esposito has it. They're trailing by nine now and gives it over to Rivers. Rivers now on a cut. Esposito goes in and dunks it home. Ethan Esposito has eight points. 76-67. Green on the drive right on Esposito. Left it short. Esposito got the rebound, and he'll bring it into the forecourt. 74-67. Does the Black have something now for a little bit of a run? Working in on Graves. Back out, open, Blair, a three, bottom, a strip the net three from Javon Blair. Blair, his first made field goal since way back in the first quarter, and he only has five after stripping the nets on that three ball. Mitch Ballack for the blue is not here. He had a game winner for them yesterday. He was not here today at all. Jumper, Esposito, they left him open, and he got the roll. He's living right. Ethan Esposito, he has 10. And coming to life, they've cut it now to two just over that last minute, minute and a half run. 74-72. Green comes across. He's standing between the rings. Picked up by Esposito. Shot clock is at 10. Looking to make the move. Back to the basket. Now turning. French. Body. Body. Jump. Hook. Good. Hassan French. Took his time, knew the clock was winding down, didn't rush. Executed his move, went over the left shoulder with the right hand jump hook. 76-72, they had to have it. Pump fake, a skip dribble, step back. It's a three. It's a bottomed out three. Good. From Nate Rivers. Rivers, man, is busting it, isn't he? 76-75. Quietly having him a pretty solid game. He has eight points, a pair of triples in there as well. Green now has it. They'll come out on the switch. We come up on three minutes to go, and there's seven on the 24. Here is Green. One way and the other around French, so he pulls the jumper. It's in and out. Esposito is on the glass for the Black. They've got an opportunity to take the lead under three minutes. 76-75. Black trailing by one, but they're in possession as you view it moving left to right. Screen action. Blair bounces it back. Rivers, three. It's off. Tip. Yes, Taylor. Inside, Terry Taylor. Offensive rebound and second chance opportunity. Remember, he led Austin P in scoring and in rebounding. You saw both right there. On the drive, here's the kickoff now to Green. Quade gives it to Nawabi. Nawabi now shuttles it back over to Quade. He goes around the screen that he got from French. He angles the pass over high to Graves in that corner. Graves going to drive, took the contact up. Late whistle on a foul is called on the contact. Coach Posey didn't think so. Coach Martin did think so. 77, 76, 213. You be the judge. Here's our SUV TV instant replay. Free throw coming up for <laughs> Graves. Graves, I mentioned 14.2 points. Third in scoring for Buffalo this past year. Free throw is good. He has tied the contest. He has played very well on this day Saturday. Second free throw. Good. 78 to 77. One point ball game. Jumper. Blair. Good. Is it a three? It is. Coming to life in this fourth quarter. The three ball is knocked in. And the tip down on this end, no good. Blair has eight. Coming back this way, 80 to 78. Two-point advantage. Under two minutes. We're at 145 to be exact. Both teams, three and O, oh, and playing it very well. Close to the vest. Three by Blair. No. Rebound. Chase down. Big French has got it. French up ahead to Quade Green. Green surveying, turning on the Jets. Putting the pressure. Drives to the hoop. It was blocked. It was blocked, and Esposito got the rebound. 90 seconds. Here's Blair to Taylor. Taylor going to work on French. Going to back him down right here on this mid-block. Turn to the baseline. And French got the block. He did not go for it. French underrated and got that block. 70 seconds. 80 to 78. Here's Quade Green. 
Green now has got the advantage. Is he going to try to go downhill on him now? He tricky dribbles. He stepped back. He gives it to Nawabe. Nawabe in and out dribble. Going on Esposito. Oh, it fell off. Tipped back up. No. Taylor got the glass. 56 seconds. Pushing now is Blair. They got a two-point lead. Good job of staying in front of him was Graves. He lost the ball. Now he gets it back, and that's a traveling violation. No, they're going to say it was deflected. Uh-oh. Let's wait. What did the ref say? It's going to be black basketball. Side out of bounds with 48 and 8, 10 seconds, 16 on the 24. Substitution. Washington into the contest now for a blue. Mounts will be the trigger side out of bounds. Mounts looks, looks they got a two-point lead, 15 on the 24. Green working on Blair defensively. Here comes the screen action. Went on top of it. Blair drove up on Finch. No. Rebound to Green out of the guard spot. Man, that guy's rebounded. The best rebounding guard I've seen all weekend in this building. It's quite a green. Going to drive. Nawabi, that's a traveling violation. Oh, they're going to give him the timeout. I'm with you, Coach Posey. I mean, he, he not only did he, he tripped over the line, but then he slid into second base. Head first. I gave him the timeout. Oh, wow. And Mounts is saying he stepped out of bounds. Uh-oh. Talk about intense. 27 and 9, 10 seconds inside that blue huddle you go. It's 80 to 78. Black has the 80. Blue has the 78. Both of them are 3 and 0. And what a way to come down the wire as we are closing and putting the finishing touches on the Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Florida Sports Coast. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, BasketballNews.com, Big Beach, and Instat, Precision Wings. Welcome you back inside the Avent Health Sports Arena as we come down the stretch to finish out this ball game, 80 to 78. Joel Hillsman in our SUV TV courtside seats. All right, it'll be baseline out of bounds, and they get it into Shamanga for the blue. Shamanga now gives it to Quad A Green. Green now has it to Graves. Now here comes French to give it to him. Seven on the 24. Here comes Shamanga, takes the bump, goes down and scores. He ties the game. Took the bump and the contact. Shot clock is off. 13 seconds. The game is on the line. 4-0 and oh if you want it. Here is Blair with 8, with 7, with 6, with 5, with 4. Blair worked on by Graves. Blair, bevy dribbles. 2-1 for the win. No. We go to overtime. 3-0, and 3-0. Oh, oh. Got to play some extra ball. Two more minutes go on the overtime clock. The Tampa Bay Pro Combine, presented by Florida Sports Coast, has been that good. Got to play an extra frame right here on SUV TV. The Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Florida Sports Coast. Two minutes are on the clock. We go to the first overtime. Joel Hillsman, glad that you're with us here. SUV TV is continuing exclusive coverage of the Tampa Bay Pro Combine on SUV TV. 80-80 ball game. And it was a 19-point fourth quarter for the black and 18-point fourth quarter for the blue. But it was the deuce of... Joel Nawabi that tied this thing up. Blair was unable to hit it at the end. We'll jump it up two minutes, and then if we're tied after that, 
will play that ever fun sudden death overtime. Possession goes to the black, and here is Blair. And now we got a whistle, and what do we got? A uh, foul call. Uh, I just looked up. The scoreboard that has the fouls on them has been behind me all weekend. I just haven't looked up there and looked at the count. <laughs> and now they have reset it for the overtime. Bounce it in across the lane. Taylor guarded by French. No, French on the glass. And gives it over to Quade Green. Green is going to come down and operate and engineer the offense. Half a minute gone in overtime. Here's Nawabi in the corner. Nawabi makes his move. Now he's going to back down on Mounts. Mount, he bounces it over to French. Back out, seven on the 24. Here's Green. Green gets downhill, breaks out the teardrop. It didn't hit anything. One and five, ten seconds left on the shot clock, and it's a turnover with 1.14 to go. Blair in possession as we come up on a minute to go. Blair has it. Now that's Esposito. Esposito back out to Taylor. Seven on the 24. Here he comes with the jumper off the elbow. It's good. Oh, Terry Taylor drops it in the bucket again. What a night. What a game. 10, 14, 16. He has 20 in the contest. 82 to 80. Here's Graves marching down the lane. He was guarded tough. Tough in by French. Hassan French. 82-82. Maybe if they would have went quick, they could have got a two for one, but that's gone now. 14 on the 24, 27 on the game clock. Blair, a lot of dribbling, whips it over to Mounts. Mounts on the drive, Mounts down low to Terry, layup good, Terry Taylor, again. 84-82, 14 seconds, was Doc Martin call a timeout? No, he's telling them to go, 10 seconds. Quade Green's got it, he's worked on by Taylor, on top of the screen. Quade lost it. Back to French. The Quade with three, with two to beat the horn. No. And the ball game ends in overtime. And Black has survived the Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Florida Sports Coast. And they go four and oh. And it was Terry Taylor in overtime with all four of those points. He finishes with 22 points in the ball game. An outstanding weekend for Terry Taylor of Austin P. As you see him put that bucket in right there. That was the go-ahead bucket at 84 to 82. What a good ball game. They ended 8, 11, 13, 15 points for Javon Graves on the blue side. Nawabe, let me check what Josh had. Joel had 6, 11. He had 17. 6, 11, and 14 for Richard Washington. None, though in the fourth quarter. Blair came up big with two big threes in the fourth quarter. He finishes with eight for Black. Esposito had a couple of big hoops. He had 10 for the Black. And then let me see, 9, 11, 13 for Sterling Manley. Manley, he did not score in the fourth quarter. 22 again for Terry Taylor. Eight for Clay Mounts. Three, six, eight for Nate. And uh, 13, 15, 17 points from Obadiah Noel. It has been an outstanding time bringing the Tampa Bay Pro Combine presented by Florida Sports Coast to you on SUV TV. And we also like to thank again our sponsors, Instat, Big Beach Productions, BAM Testing, BasketballNews.com, and Avent Health Sports Arena on the campus of Wiregrass Ranch Sports Campus of Pasco County. For our entire crew, cameras, producers, and everyone, I'm Joel Hillsman. You'll see, we'll see you down the road right here. The SUV TV.com. Be safe, everybody. The 2021 Tampa Bay Pro Combine is brought to you by Florida's Sports Coast, BasketballNews.com, Big Beach, and Instat Precision Wings.